Welcome again people. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a simple fire animation. Uh, so this is what it's gonna look like. And I didn't invent it. I was inspired by this guy Clements Makes who makes amazing uh, tutorials for After Effects. And so I tried to adapt it for Canon Live. So it looks like this is. Check him out. His link will be in the description. So I tried to keep it all in Canon Live so that you can do it even if you don't have any other program. So first things first, you're gonna have to download an effect that I made. That's in the description. Um, it's just a simple thing, and then you have to copy it to uh, your custom effects folder. Uh, I'll put the like the the path in the description as well. So first thing you're gonna do is wait. So I have it on the left because yeah, always useful. First thing you're gonna do is make the background. So project a title clip, and then Alt R to make a rectangle. So you want to make it a bit bigger than your frame. And we don't want, sorry, we don't want a solid color, we want a gradient. Well, you can have a solid color if you want, like you do whatever you want, but that's what I decided to do. So you make a gradient and then you can choose the colors and the angle. So I'm fine with this one. Um, and I'm going to put it on the bottom track here. So you have your background. Then we're going to make the fire part. So you're gonna need multiple color clips, so project add color clips. You're gonna need a black one, a white one, and a colored one, whatever color you want, uh, different from white or black. So you're gonna take your white clip, put it somewhere random, I don't care. Oh, by the way, I put seven, I used seven layers. Uh, for this, so you're gonna have to make new ones. You can just right click here and insert track So I have uh, my white thing here. I'm gonna remove it afterwards anyway uh, That's something you can also do on GIMP or on Inkscape, but I decided to use Canon Life for it. So we're gonna do rotoscoping Add it to the clip just click uh, and drag and then you Click to add points. So I'm gonna make three points to make a droplet like shape uh, I'm going back to the first keyframe and then I'm gonna like shape it. So what you're gonna want to make sure of is that uh, here it's a straight line or else there's gonna be like some sort of a corner, you know? Um, uh, like this maybe and then try to have it kind of centered so you can move it with the uh, with the cross here so let's say that's a good shape i'm gonna put the color clip in the background and extract frame to project i don't care about the name i just save it and it's gonna be here uh, and I can now remove this and this. Why I didn't keep the rotoscoping one? Well, I don't know. It just didn't render properly. It was all choppy and weird and I realized if I just used the picture it was okay. And since it's not moving, it's easier. So I remove this. So I remove this and then I'm gonna add one of these on top of here. Well, not really on top. It's so annoying how it moves here. 
so here um, I'm just gonna put it here go here and then project I title, cl title clip and I'm gonna add some wooden uh, thingy fire fingers I don't know the name so again alt R to make a rectangle and then I want a gradient you can make it whatever color you want I went for black and white and you can again change the angle the colors I'm gonna put it here a little angle in Z so it rotates maybe a bit bigger and I'm gonna make a second one and rotate it the other way so then they're like crisscrossed you know like I don't know try to make it pretty you know put it here okay and put it in the background if it's coming come on what what the fuck is it yeah Okay, here it is. I don't know what happened. So now I have it here. Oh, so on here I'm gonna add a chroma key basic because, like, it's pretty simple. Oh yeah, and if you choose the right blue, it's already the right color. And you're gonna go a bit higher in vari variance so you're sure there's no blue left because it's okay if some of the white goes away, you know, for this. Um. And then I'm gonna add that effect that you have to download in the description. It's called distort velocity. Uh, you already have distort uh, on your computer, but on Canon Live, but you need this one because then you have velocity that you can move. Uh, I'm just gonna put some parameters, see what it looks like. And like this is not good, so it's way too often, so I have to reduce the frequency. That's pretty nice. That's a good fire, maybe. Maybe the amplitude is a bit much. Like that is maybe nice, and I'm just gonna play it. I think that's a nice one. Maybe a bit too much. That's nice. I like it like this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it right on top. And then I'm gonna add a composition between the two. Uh, composite and transform composition. Yes, and then put that to destination out. The rotation to 180. And so I'm gonna be able to have like a little flamey thing. Isn't it it's nice, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, I, I take no credit for this. This is totally Clemens make. So, yeah, this looks really nice already. Um, but you might want like a bit more like fire action. So I'm gonna add some little things that leave uh, the fire uh, on top of them. So to do this, I'm gonna again take my white color clip, put it here, then effects. And I'm gonna add alpha shapes. Uh, be careful, there's a shape alpha and then alpha shapes, you want alpha shapes. That's in alpha transform. So, first it makes a rectangle. I want something that's more like round. So, an ellipse. Transition width is gonna go to zero. Size is gonna be way smaller. And position is gonna be so higher, so more in this direction, and a bit more on the left. Yeah, so I want it way smaller, uh, maybe. Like this sounds nice, five. And then maybe a bit bigger at first here. Yeah. And so I'm gonna make it shorter so that I can copy and paste this one afterwards and have it multiple times like going up and up and up. So a bit more on the right and way, s way, way, well not way, but like a bit lower so it's hidden in the fire. And then I'm gonna go to the last frame. I'm gonna make it higher this time, so position Y will be higher. And I also want it smaller. I'm gonna reduce the size to one on Y, and maybe like to three on X. And I want it smooth. Then it will look better. Let's just play it to see what it looks like. It's pretty nice, right? So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it a bunch of times here. 
and like you can see there's one more frame so like you can just extend it and then it looks nice and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the second bit of fire so copy paste on top I'm gonna change the length a little bit so that they don't go at the same time come on yes um, come back here and I don't want it in the same place obviously so in X we're gonna go more on the right a bit less yes and low lower so this direction that's pretty nice I think and so 608 I'm gonna remember here I'm gonna put 608 and it's a bit too high so I'm gonna put it lower as well like maybe here and then copy and paste it a bunch of times again beautiful and so now we have a little fire with little fingers of fire that leave it then I'm gonna add some flickering so again my oh no not my white actually my beautiful black color clip that I made at the beginning put it here and add an other alpha mask uh, alpha shape and I want it a circle again so going for ellipse and it's gonna have a quite wide transition width I want it bigger so like I can see it around maybe not that big and a bit lower like here is pretty nice I need it higher so size X lower like here maybe I don't know you can just adjust it you know that looks pretty nice maybe a bit more transition width yes and then I'm gonna add a composite and transform transition with the first track so that I like it's really in the background then I could actually I could put it on the second track as well but and I'm gonna put it to screen screen removes the, the the blacks so like I'm not gonna see it and then I'm gonna add an old film effect on my black clip and change it to not alter brightness down it's not gonna go down since it's already black brightness up maybe like this high I don't know brightness not that often that's too often for a fire and the level up down 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 everything else to zero and then it should flicker yes it's flickering it's just also lagging a lot because that's a lot of tracks you know so now I'm just gonna add some transitions between all of the tracks to make sure um, that like it just helps honestly like just put composition transform it's easy and copy it and paste it here since there's none and you want it with the first track usually like it depends on what you do but like for this you want it with the first track um, here as well oh my god why won't you freaking copy it and paste it this. and so I should still have everything in order I hope my flickering looks like works I think it does like if you want to make sure it works you just remove the screen you go back to alpha blend and you see if the color changes and it does so I go back to screen and so I'm done and well it it's very slow but like it should look exactly like the other one I made which is this one. Oh wait I forgot one part um, to make it pretty I'm gonna add some noise in the background so I'm just gonna take this one because I tried them all and this one doesn't move so it's really nice for this I think so you can just go high 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 you can go like wherever you want I go like here 
and put it on the wood as well but a bit lower and so yeah that should be all right yep I hope you liked it and please comment whatever you want um, oh also check out my last video I'm putting for auction some like private tutoring sessions so if you're interested in that check it out bye